Hey everybody, welcome back once again to Welch's Math Class. We are so happy to have you right here with us to work on Module 2, some more work with decimals. We're going to do some uh, work with decimals with long division right here based on the problem that you're coming out of in your, in your practice problems. And so let's take a look at the one we've got on the board here. We're going to do 315.51 divided by 0 0.28 or 0 0.28 divided into 315.51 and take our answer and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, we're going to start this problem, y'all, by uh, clearing the decimal out of this outside number called the divisor. Uh, we want to take the decimal that's in that divisor. We actually want to move it to the end of the number. Move it one place, two places. So notice what we did is we moved that two places to the right. <clears throat> so we're going to match that movement by coming to the inside here and moving this decimal two places to the right also. Now what that's going to do for us, it's going to tell us where our decimal is supposed to go in our answer. <clears throat> in our quotient here up at the top, the answer to a long division problem, remember, is a quotient. So this is the, decimal, the correct decimal placement for our answer to this problem. Then notice we want to round our answer, round our quotient to the, to the nearest hundredth. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and come out here with a couple of zeros. The first zero behind that decimal will be the tenth. The second decimal place will be the hundredth. Okay, now we actually want to round the hundredth. And so to round the hundredth, we'll draw ourselves a line right there. We'll put one more zero behind that. And so then, what will actually be dividing when we, when we start our division here then is, and I'm going to uh, erase this little piece here, we'll actually be dividing 28, 28 into 315, um, 51, point, zero, zero, and then a line here, and there. So the actual problem we end up working here is 28 into uh, actually 31,551 decimal point. Now this decimal point needs to slide right here. That's the correct place in our answer. Now we know we've got this set up already so that it goes out to the hundredth place, tenth, hundredth, and then one place past the hundredth. The reason for that is it does two things. It helps us to to know where to stop the problem, okay, as we're going across there. Also helps us to, uh, to see what we're going to round. We're going to round this number based on this number. So if this, this number behind the line is five or more, we're going to round this one here up. If it's less than five, we're going to round uh, by leaving this the same. Let's go ahead now that we've got it set up, the proper setup, really, really important. Let's go ahead now and actually do the problem. So we'll start off by 28 into 31. goes one time, of course, 28. Do our subtraction. That'll be 3. Bring down the 5. Okay, 28 into 35, of course, goes one time again. One time 28 is 28. All right, so now minus 35 minus 28 gives us a uh, 7. Bring down this 5 here. Now, 28 into 75, I'm not sure if that goes 2 or 3. I'll go out to the side and I'll do 28, first of all, times 2, and check that. Uh, that'd be 16, carry 1, 4, 5, 56. That's a good bit less than 75, but we might be able to get closer to, to the 75. Let's try 28 times 3. 3 times 8 is uh, 24, put down the 4, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Now, 28 times 3 would be 84. That's going to be a little bit too much here, so we better go with the 2. Putting it right above that 5. 2 times 28 now is 56. We'll do our subtraction. Now, in our subtraction here, we're going to have to borrow off of this and get a 6 and a 15 here. 15 minus 6 here is 9. 6 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now, we want to bring down this 1 right here. Bring down this one right here. Now I'm going to do 28 into 191. 28 into 191. I'm going to make a guess that that's going to go six times, maybe seven times. Let's, uh, let's do 28 first times six. All right, so I've got 28 times six times eight is 48. Eight carry four. Six times two. Uh, six times two is 12. 12 plus four is 16. 
Okay, 168. All right, let's uh, let's do 20. That's that's still a ways off of here. So let's try 28 times 7. 28 times 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Put down the 6, carry the 5. Um, 7 times 2 is 14, and 5 is 19. Now, 196 is going to be too much right here. So I guess we better go with 28 times 6. Let's put a 6 directly above that 1 right there to get our right place, to get it in the right spot with the decimal. And then 6 times 28 is 168. Let's subtract. Now, we're going to have to subtract here. This is going to drop to an 8. This is an 11. Minus 8 is 3. 8 minus 6 is 2. Let's bring down that next 0. All right, so now we're going to go 28 into 230. Now, the last thing we did was 28 times 7 is 196. Let's try 28, let's try 28 times 8. Okay, now you'll want to be able to have a place on your paper to do this type of work or maybe even a separate sheet of paper where you can do this type of work and kind of keep it together, maybe a little more organized than I have it right here um, so you can see what your 28 times different things, uh, different multiples of 28 would be. So 28 times 8, 8 times 8 is 64, carry 6, 8 times 2 is 16 and 6 is, okay, so I'm getting 224 really close to 230, so I'm going to go 28 times an 8 right here. 8 times that is 224. Subtract here, I'm going to get 6. Bring down this 0. Now 28 into 60. Uh, 28 into 60, I've got this work that I've done before. Um, and again, you want to do that work and save it. 28 times 2 is 56. I'm going to use the 2 i going to put that maybe right here. 2 times 28 is 56. And so I'm going to subtract that. I'm going to get oh, 56. Let's write the right number down here. And I'm going to get 4. Bring down this last 0. Okay, so what I want to point out at this point, remember we're rounding to the hundredth. And so we're at the hundredth now. And this, this hundredth spot is either going to stay at 2 or it's going to become a 3. All that's based on what this number behind it comes up to be. If it comes up to be 5 or more, we're going to add 1 here and get a 3. If it comes up to be less than 5, we're going to leave this at 2. So 28 into 40, clearly that's only going one time. Now, since that is only going one time, uh, my 2 on the hundredth place will stay at 2. Therefore, my answer, 28, or, or my original problem, 0 0.28 uh, divided into 315.51 turns out to be 1,126.82, okay? That is my final answer, 1126.82. All right, I want you to jump back into your practice. Be careful that you position your decimal correctly as you set this up. Okay, move in two places and then move in here, uh, ever how many places you need to, to clear it here. Get this decimal in the correct place. Give yourself plenty of room on the paper to do the work and get to that. Check yourself with your calculator if you need to. Um, and I will plan on seeing you next time back in Welch's Math Class.